we first moved here uh, or moved to Dallas, uh, we, my family joined Ventry Country Club and um, David Price was a longtime head pro there for 34 years, I believe. And David's been a second father to me basically since I was 11 years old. And, um, you know, kind of the whole story of how I got started with him was um, one of our assistants at Ventry had broken his leg and I had worked with him for a while and he couldn't teach for a little bit. And I was playing in some junior events and I kind of, I thought I could do better. You know, I wasn't playing poorly, but it, like you said, getting a little bit of the competitive side for my mom, I wasn't happy not winning golf tournaments or contending in golf tournaments at a young age. And um, Mr. Price and my dad and or my dad went to Mr. Price and said, you know, hey, would you mind, you know, working with Will? And he said, why don't we just have a sit down conversation? Like, you know, I know he's 11, but let's just let's just talk. And Mr. Price actually worked with Harvey Penick for uh, growing up. And he tells a story about the first few lessons that he ever took from Mr. Penick. And he was a strong left-handed kid from West Texas and would just hit kind of a going draw and, and never really release the golf club. And Mr. Penick showed him how to release a golf club. And he said, you know, grab a pitching wedge and I'm going to show you how to release this golf club. And I want you to hit 15 yard shots of it. And, you know, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll work for a little while on it and hit something longer. So David ends up hitting chips basically for three, four hours and ends up going home, comes back the next day. And, he's, and Mr. Penix said, well, you know, how are you feeling? He said, well, I'm a little sore. You know, I'm just not used to my left hand releasing that hard. And he goes, well, good, let's try to hit something longer today. And so David's thinking, you know, I might hit something longer. Gives him an eight iron, tells him to hit 50 yards, come back tomorrow. And what he basically told me when I was 11 and he knew that I wanted to be good and knew why I was sitting in there, which it's a tough thing to, you know, if the kid doesn't want it, it's kind of hard to have this conversation with it, but he knew that I wanted it. And he said, look, I know you're out here having fun, but you know, when you're out here playing with your buddies, like, are you out here just cause it's social hour or are you out here? Cause you actually want to get better. And, you know, my one hour lessons with, with Mr. Price would go basically, we had a couple one hour lessons. I would go two and a half hours just because we were working on something and wanted to get it down. And ever since then, he's been, been there for me through the thick and thin. And obviously now he's retired and, you know, even to this day, we'll start hitting golf balls and we'll, we'll just sit there and talk and kind of talk through things, go through memories, kind of talk about life in general. I mean, so to kind of have somebody, like I said, he's a second father to me, um, probably one of the most, Info, probably the most influential person in my life that's uh, not a family member.